Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Playing With Sticks, a channel devoted to helping you get outside, exploring through alternative ways to help decrease your impact and your footprint outside. In this season of life, we've been traveling around our beautiful state of Alaska in a 4x8 tiny trailer. It's a teardrop trailer that is a 1960s classic style. And we want to show you in this episode how we took our indoor living space and extended it outside. We're going to be taking you on Amazon, showing you what we think are the best options for canopy, quality, and price. We're going to be showing you how we set up our outdoor living space in the northernmost rainforest in North America, Girdwood, Alaska. And we're also going to take you into the forest fair. So stick around. <music> campsites available so, how many nights do you guys want to stay uh well we're probably gonna only be here till like two in the afternoon tomorrow is there any way to pay like a night and a half yeah you could pay 10 bucks here yeah yeah okay totally there you go you guys are all set thank you much okay upper or lower mm, mm, that's a hard one i don't know hold on stop right here so we have a decision to make this one right here or the one in here thinking this one in here right here because it's a little bit more secluded wait our head's gonna be yeah our head's gonna be here so we always got to get this end up so that's actually the best up into here okay you're good hey buddy boy hi on the other side buddy what do you think you want to check it out Big Agnes three-fourths shelter. This shelter is what most people use for their teardrops because it's bulky and it's strong. Uh, it's been tested, been used a lot. Six foot six inches overhead, so you have a lot of clearance. Fits over a standard picnic table. What the best feature of it though is these side walls. Uh, for 25 bucks, it's a lot. You can buy additional side walls. I think it might come with one. Uh, I don't know if the new model does, but the old did. But these side model walls keep out the wind, they keep out the rain, and then if you're in a camping area that's not very private, it helps you kind of feel like you're alone and you don't notice your neighbors. We have one that's very similar and it's the Mountain Smith Mountain Shade Dome. And this tent's pretty similar to the other one, the Big Agnes. It's a little bit shorter at six feet high, but it still fits over a 10 foot by 10 foot picnic table, which is great when you can move it from your camp over the table for dinner. Uh, the King Camp Awning, I've seen this one quite often used. It's typically put over the back hatch of a vehicle, but people hook this over their galley and it covers the food area and it's great but you do have to walk out of your teardrop to get to it and so if it's raining you're going to have to walk out in the rain and come out and that's why this option we didn't choose another one is the light speed outdoors quick canopy we haven't actually used this one but we do have another product of theirs for our toilet and it's a quick pop-up that takes less than 30 seconds and this is the same concept built by the same company so i expect it to last pretty long uh, here at teardrop shop you really find some great products if you have money this is the place to go they're all done for you they're designed around teardrops i love this five by seven if you look at it it's just perfect it keeps the bugs out it can be privacy for showering for changing clothes it's that extended room you can stand up in it they even have a bigger like party version it's the 10 by 10 foot one and if you see on this one it has a big bug room but it also has these awnings that come out from it too for even additional seating outside of it so that's basically it but why we like these ones here is we've seen them all in blogs we've seen them in forums we've seen them used and so these are the ones I suggest there's a lot more but this is a great way to get a little more outside while doing your teardrop light can't leave the house without my good fairy lights for Hey, 
It's done. I think it looks good. Nice shoes, buddy. <laughs> So the beauty of a teardrop trailer is that it's all in one place, right? That no setup, no tear down, you just hook it up to your trailer hitch and you take off. So you're probably thinking, why would you add a canopy? Why would you add a pop-up toilet? It is extra work. It does make it more like camping and doesn't that seem to defeat the purpose? And it does, I would say. But I would say, you know, on those nights where we're just out there boondocking and we know we're just going to be hiking and kayaking and not spending a lot of time at the campsite we won't put up the canopy. That way in the morning we just get up, hook onto the hitch and just take off. But when you wanna just sit around the campfire or you wanna laze around in a rainy day, coming into this covered little place with your chairs and your coolers and your cooking area and it just feels like home. So I think it's worth the extra two to three minutes. For us, if this wasn't a classic trailer, we would add an awning on there that goes out. I think an awning that's built into the teardrop would be a great way if you're doing a modern teardrop. But we're trying to keep ours as classic as we can. We love the smooth line, so that's why we're extending the living space with an additional item, which does take a little more time. It just started raining and um, it's dinner time, so we are going to head to town to grab something to eat. No, no. Hey, are you ready to go? We are just waiting for some Thai food. Drew placed an order over there at that little um, tiny food truck. Green curry. Ta -da. The little food truck that we got ordered our food from. We only had one little spot and it was raining super hard so then we ended up driving back to our little campsite and enjoying our food on a picnic table. <laughs> Which one do you want to read? No. My mother is mine. Hip hop. Let's talk Alaska. After hanging out in the woods and just having a great night's sleep, we were ready to set out in the morning for an adventure and go down to the Girdwood Forest Fair. This is an annual fair. It is just eclectic and unique and so fun. What's this over on your left? What's that, East? School bus. School bus, what's that over there? Drop. So we are just waiting for the bus to come pick us up to head to town for the forest fair. And it's really cool because the bus is free. It's the Girdwood Glacier Valley Transit. Valley Transit. Something, Something like that. Like that. <laughs> but it takes you all over the valley, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Good morning. Have a fun day.
so you made it this far. Thanks for sticking around. If you think this canopy is a great idea and a great way to extend your living space, let us know in the comments below. If you think it's just a waste of effort and time and goes against the simplicity of teardrop lifestyle, let us know too. If you have any alternative ways of extending space or ways you think we can do this better, we would love for you to put it below so we can kind of grow and understand this as a community. If you like these videos, please subscribe. We'd love to put out more. We have a lot of teardrop videos to come.